so this was my first ukulele um and i got it on my 11th like birthday week because i asked my mom for one but she didn't buy me one because she thought i would never play it she thought it was just like a novelty so then um i think i got like fifty dollars for my birthday from like everyone like collectively and so then I bought my own and I remember I wanted a baby blue one but then my mom was just like no you're gonna grow out of it so then I had to get the classic brown one because after all she's Grace Van Der hello it's me the ukulele teacher here to teach you how to play I don't know my name by 12 year old singing sensation Grace Van who appeared recently on America's Got Talent so grab your uke Make sure it's in June. Then grab your capo and put it on the first fret of your ukulele. With the capo in place, your uke should now sound like this. Just in case you haven't heard the song yet, I'm going to play it through for you quickly now to give you a rough idea of what it'll sound like when you've learned it. I don't know my... Oh, I learned from the ukulele teacher on YouTube. 10 out of 10, recommend. <laughs> um, and yeah, I would just log on and just hear, hey, what's up, you guys? It's the ukulele teacher. And then like his logo. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, you know you found the right one when you hear exactly that. <laughs> yeah. the song and I was like and then they ended up actually like calling we signed up for the New York auditions Queens College Queens College uh, we've been taking Grace around to some open mic nights we thought she was really talented my wife said you know we should get her on one of these shows and just see what would happen I remember I messed it up on my first audition actually the song and I was like shoot I had one shot and I blew it and then they ended up actually like calling me back I sang a few more songs and then they were like the executives want to hear you mm -hmm. and me and my mom were freaking out we called my dad and we were like we have like a 90 percent chance of actually getting on the show and then three days later we got the letter yeah. and come out to la if you're on the show right no it's so like the process for AGT, was that the first time you were in front of the judges? The first time you like we saw you on TV? Because I know usually there's a bunch yeah. of like other auditions before there you get is. to TV. So like what how that happened? That's the first time you mean the process? Yeah, so like how many times did you audition before we actually saw you on TV? Oh, um I auditioned twice because of the executives, remember? In one day. So we went out. Do you want to hear the process? Yeah, I would absolutely. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. it's like a whole story, so yeah. I don't want to go into it without it being the question. So you go out. It's really not fancy. It's just some random college. Everyone was lost. No one knew where to. <laughs> no one knew where to go. And they give you the cool stickers, and basically they group you in like what act you are. So I was with a bunch of singers. If you're a musician, you'll be with musicians. If you're a magician, you'll be with magicians, dancers, dancers. You know, like that. Mm -hmm. So you don't go in alone. You go in groups of like 10 or 11 and you're not allowed to clap for each other. But I mean, everyone goes like, <laughs> no, girl, you got it. Seriously. <laughs> so you go into just some really tiny hallway. It's really sweaty. It's really gross. You go into a room with just all the chairs pushed back. It's really not nice. Um, and then you got like, I think 30 seconds. 90 seconds. Whoa, that was a lot more than Mama there is correcting her. <laughs> yeah, 90 seconds, and you just stand in front of this woman with a laptop. She's like, okay. okay. <laughs> You're making it sound glamorous. Like typing. Yeah. And so then you all get 
foot out into the hallway again. There's like no seats. People are like sitting on each other's laps. It's really weird. And so then she'll call you back in if I guess like she liked you or something or she wants to hear more songs. So one guy went back in. He sang like two more songs, then got put back into the hallway. I went back in. I literally sang to the point where I said, I don't know any more songs. I oh, wow. literally can't sing you any more songs. And then I got put back out, and there was this guy who literally looked like a vampire, by the way. I <laughs> thought he was a vampire. <laughs> Hanging upside down. Um, you didn't say that to him, did you? You're of not course like, hey, not. Creepy vampire, dude. But, so he was like, oh, come with me. Uh-huh. And I'm like, uh, okay. And so my mom was there, by the way. I didn't just randomly walk away with a stranger. That's, that's good. Like, that's good to point out. Stranger danger. Um, <laughs> yeah. Stranger good danger. job, mom. <laughs> Don't go with vampires. So, <laughs> so we walk out, and we're literally outside, like, going to a completely different building. And we walk into this building. It's, like, way nicer. There's a little <laughs> piano playing. There's, like, a water thing. Seats. Ooh. Upgrade. Actual wood floors. Seats. Air conditioning. Yeah. Air conditioning. So then I get called into, like, this room that is now, it looks like the thing. Like, it has the X printed on the floor. It's much more nerve-wracking. There's, like, a big camera recording you. And they're, like, all the executives. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this much information, but I'm doing it. Yeah, you um, already won. <laughs> I just realized that back. as it's I'm fine. saying this. Um, and so all the executives are there. And then you sing for them. But they ask you what songs to sing. I guess the girl like wrote down, wrote down like her favorites and emailed them or something because they were like, "All right, can you sing? I can't help falling in love with you now." Oh. And, like, mm. can you sing whatever now? I don't know. My name was one of them, so I sang all them, and they're like, "Okay, you can leave now." <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay, like, thanks. They seemed like they hated me so much, and so then I walked out, and then I thought I didn't get on because it took oh so God. long, and then we got a letter saying that they're thinking about me. And then we got a letter like two weeks later saying, come out to L.A., you get on the show. Wait. Th- they gave you a uh, teaser? Wait, th- and they sent it via U.S. the Postal Service? Yeah, we got a literal. No, no, no. Wait. Actually, no. I'm sorry. I'm getting get confused because my dad printed it out. Oh, so okay. It oh, like okay. 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 <laughs> Holy cow. It was an email. But yeah. my dad printed it out to make it look like a letter. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what about the spam, man? Oh, I was going <laughs> to say. <laughs> <I missed laughs> out. But not only that, I would have just been like, oh, Bill, forget. with my mom, my dad, my sister, and my... And I understand that you guys actually filmed the, se- the segment back in March, correct? Yes. So has it been hard, you know, keeping this a secret the entire time? I'd imagine I'd, I'd want to talk about it. Well, I kind of had a little fun with it because I kind of felt like Hannah Montana, like keeping a secret about it. Um, but yeah, there were definitely times where I really, really, really wanted to say it. So what were you thinking about, you know, the moments before taking the stage? Uh, were you nervous at all? What was going through your head? Well, I remember the two people before me both got four X's, and the buzzers were so loud, by the way, it made me jump, and, um, I thought, I thought I was gonna go through, I thought I might get one X, um, and I I was telling myself, like, you have to keep going, act like you didn't even, you didn't even notice it, you have to keep going, and I was just kind of running through what I'm gonna do through, like, every single scenario, I was, like, rehearsing what I was gonna say through everything, that may happen. So were there any nerves involved in the days leading up to the show? No, I was actually like, I was totally fine with it until we were actually backstage and then I was like, oh my gosh. This is, because you have to wait so long and while you're waiting you think it's like such a long time, but then once it's actually there you're like, oh my gosh, this has happened so fast. 
Van Der Waal. I'm 12 years old and I love to sing. I live in New York with my mom, my dad, my sister, and my two dogs, which I love dearly. What are you looking at? The cannon. The cannon. <laughs> sister, Olivia, is 15 and she's my best friend. She's just very supportive. I love it. I'm doing my own song tonight because I really think that shows who I am. I hope it does. I really hope. <laughs> You're gonna do fine. I guarantee you, you will do fine. I'm trying to set my expectations very low. I've never sang in a crowd this big before and this is just gonna be so different to be like in front of all these people. What do you think? Let me fix your bow. Your bow's a little... I saw Nick Cannon walk by and I was just like, oh my gosh! And like, that was just one person. I don't even know how I'm gonna do it. Two days ago, she whispered in my ear, Mom, I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> She's only 12, and I'm scared because I want everything that she does to be successful. And I just... <laughs> All I, can do is I just hope she can do it. <laughs> I still remember my first audition. <laughs> Performing on America's Got Talent was the largest group I've ever played for. When you first walk out, it's you think you're gonna like it's gonna hit you. My lips couldn't stop quivering. Hi, young lady. What is your name? Grace. Grace, you're a beautiful young lady. You know that? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Uh, twelve. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yes. Don't be nervous. Be excited. Okay. This is exciting. I'm ready to hear you play, you little miracle you. Okay. What are you going to sing? I'm singing an original. Really? Yes. What's it about? It's about me. <laughs> and other people at school behind you supporting you? Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> stage is yours. Good luck.
is a show about surprises, and you use the word miracle, and I think you are a living, beautiful, walking miracle. Your original, the people not knowing your name, is so right and so wrong because I think the world is gonna know your name. I think right now they're gonna know your name because you are going right You know what I predict for you? I think you are the next little Taylor Swift. Thank you so much. Wow. Howie Golden Buzzer. How's it feel? I feel like this, I'm kind of just daydreaming. I'm getting ready to wake up. Well, this is going to be a long dream because you're going straight through to the live show. You'll see it. Great girl. Wow. Thank you. What a great personality. I can't believe it. You have confetti in your hair. I do. You hear, you hear Simon Cow make a prediction that you're the next Taylor Swift? <laughs> Can I get your autograph? <laughs> so you think you've got a star now? I 100% think we've got a star. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, wow. I really do. That is a big the, wow. This girl is special. She is yeah. special. Wow. And I'm now annoyed I didn't press the golden button. <laughs> If you're thinking about going on and auditioning for America's Got Talent, do it. I'm going to say to Howie that you've always been my favorite judge and it just meant the world to me that you're the one who clicked the buzzer and, and I can't believe you hugged me. So I just want to say such a thank you and I will never, ever, ever forget that. I still feel like I'm about to wake up from this crazy dream. I hope that there's more to come. This is from The Golden Buzzer. If you are wondering. Yes. Oh. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's amazing, I'll keep it forever, mwah. So, yeah. If I remember like it was yesterday when Grace walked onto that stage, you know, real cute outfit, and then she comes with her little ukulele, and she's super shy. Hi, young lady. What is your name? Grace. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> It was a bit like when I remember uh, auditioning Carrie Underwood that first time. You know, it was like, there was just something about her when she came in. What are you going to sing? I'm singing an original. Really? Yes. I'm the proponent of not singing original songs. Ultimately, America gets the vote, so you're going to win some votes if you sing a popular song. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> I always say risk is being safe. Uh, taking a chance is not risky. No, it was absolutely the right thing to do. I feel like her voice and her playing the ukulele started like a whole new movement of, you know, that type of singing and playing the ukulele, including my daughter, who now plays it too. I 100% think we've got a star. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, wow. I really do. That is a big the, This wow. girl is special. That's an audition we'll never forget. That's a, that's how you do it audition. You feel a little bit of ownership. Simon makes fun of me because when she finally won... Grace Vanderwaal! He could not get out of his seat quick enough. Mine! Boom! I did it, <laughs> you know.
Yes, Howie, it's your golden buzzer. Yes, Howie, you saw her first. Yes, Howie, yes. If it was mine, I would be bragging about it, too. I'll never forget that moment. Everybody related to that song. You know, we all feel like we're unknown. We all make up our own rules. And sometimes when you take your own path, that's how you succeed. That's what Grace Vanderwald did. I knew it. I felt it. I'm glad that I witnessed it. And I'm glad that I pressed that button.